Hey everybody, Tie-Dye Farmer here with a video blog. It's been quite a while since I did one of these handheld jobs and I'm showing off something that I've been working on for a little while. It's been quite a busy season with some work and some other things going on, but one of the things that I've started working on this winter thanks to um, some inspiration from Mr. William Padilla Brown is getting into some mushroom cultivation. So. I'm standing in what was uh, our master bedroom's bathroom, which fortunately, since it's uh, a house for a husband and wife, and we have two bathrooms, we really don't need two bathrooms, so thankfully this one could be reallocated to the purposes of the things you see behind me. And let me catch a different angle so you can see some of that stuff. We'll go high. And uh, when I say hi, I'm six foot seven, so camera's about eight feet tall. But what you see behind me is two HEPA air filters. And those are four jars. And those are liquid cultures. And I'm getting ready to do some medicinal mushroom cultivation, specifically turkey tail, lion's mane. Uh, I think I have some red reishi there today. And let me double check and see what the other one is. Oh. Oh, wine caps, getting ready for spring and some mulching. So uh, this area is being set up as a sterile work area. Um, the reason no tie-dye today, I'm in my lab scrubs because the idea is to stay as clean as possible. Um, in fact, typically I wouldn't even be talking in here because your mouth spits bacteria. Fortunately, I am already finished my sterile work. Uh, the flow hoods are off. I will come in here and turn those on oh, maybe 15 minutes to a half hour at least before I come in here to work and let them run. Uh, got the sink over here, got the pressure cooker. So we're gonna get ready and put some more jars in there uh, tonight and do four more runs of liquid culture. And next update I'll tease you with right now, the cordyceps mushrooms that I took the online webinar with William Padilla Brown about. I got about five dozen jars in the basement and they are starting to get ready to go. I think the colonization is near complete and we'll be setting up some lights and getting them ready to hopefully pen and fruit. I am super excited about that. That's all for today, the update from the tie-dye farmer. See ya.